Chilean sea bass is my absolute favorite fish on the planet. When I order it at a restaurant, I pay $50 for the plate. I bought these two chunky fillets at Costco for 40 bucks. Whisk together soy sauce, water, ginger, garlic, brown sugar, honey, and cornstarch until it thickens. Let it cool and then use it as a marinade for the fish along with some scallions. Leave it alone for at least an hour in your fridge. Sear the bass in a pan on all of its sides. Then brush it with some of the leftover teriyaki. Bake for 15 minutes at 425. This is the flakiest, yummiest fish you're ever going to get. Love your life. Even if you're not a fish lover, this fish will just blow your mind. And all you want to do is get some tilapia or any white fish really. A little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And then you want to grind some parsley and garlic. Rub that on top. Some diced tomatoes and onion. The extra garlic is just optional. Get in with those hands. And then I get some fried crispy onions. Just give them a crush. And then just top it. A little bit of lemon juice. And then we bake it. And then you end up with something like this. Like I said, this fish will blow your mind. I am teaching you how to cook the easiest whole fish today called European sea bass, also by the name of Branzino. Let's go! This is what we call Branzino back home. Salt, pepper and olive oil on each side. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Salt and pepper in the crevice, as well as thyme or even parsley and some lemon slices. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Remove the lemons and thyme and gently open up your fish discarding the fish bowl. Garnish with parsley, lemons and olive oil. Enjoy and follow for more. Mama G making easy tilapia. Start with a drizzle of avocado oil. I'm using Flavor God lemon garlic seasoning and pepper. Then I'm gonna add some sliced onion on top. Make a sauce with butter, garlic, capers. Microwave that. Add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Pour that right on top of your fish and bake it at 425 for 10 to 15 minutes. It comes out perfect, delicious, and so easy. Hey everyone, so this is how I make my grilled fish. You just crush some garlic cloves and add in vegeta, cumin, coriander powder, paprika, white pepper, some salt, and that's it. And then you mix that up, you put in some olive oil and you add in some water until it becomes a paste consistency. And then you rub it on the fish. Um, I chose bassa fillet because it's um, the most nicest fish out of all of them. It's my personal favorite. So you just um, base it on that and you let it marinate uh, for however long you want. I let it marinate for about three hours. And then you just put in some oil in, some, in the pan and then you just grill it. And then you serve it and it turns out so delicious and so nice. And it's such a quick and easy dinner or lunch to make. Let's make spicy tuna. Start by cubing and mixing one pound of sushi grade tuna. Next, you're gonna make your sauce with mayo, sriracha, soy sauce, sesame oil, and a pinch of sugar. Mix well to combine and pour over your tuna. Finish off with green onions, serve with a rice bowl or on crispy rice. Keto baked tilapia, let's go! Melt together garlic and butter. Add half a lemon. Add garlic. Old Bay. Onion powder. Paprika. Cayenne. Mix it up. Garlic aioli on top. Add your sauce on. Lemons on top. Chuck it in the oven for 20 minutes. And eat. How to make the best miso salmon. It starts off with three tablespoons of miso paste, two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of ponzu and sesame oil, and one tablespoon of sake. Mix and set aside. In the meantime, slice your salmon into three fillets and marinate in the miso mixture. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and place on your salmon fillets. Bake for 15 minutes and broil for the last five. I'm topping mine with virakaki and I like to serve it with white rice. Pan fried walleye tonight. It's a northern favorite and super delicious. We're gonna serve it up with a fresh tomato salsa. First up, let's make the salsa. Tomatoes, sweetie drop peppers, red onion, a little garlic, green chilies, fresh parsley, a little olive oil, season with kosher salt and black pepper. For the fish, season both sides with kosher. Five tips for making the best fried fish ever. These are some scalps I made the other night. They were awesome. 
Tip number one, a thermometer. You need to get a thermometer because the oil needs to be hot enough to fry properly. If it's not hot enough, that's the number one reason why most fish is greasy. Number two, get a high quality oil. This is peanut oil. It cooks at a higher temperature, doesn't smell up your whole house, and it cooks fantastic. That's what McDonald uses for their french fries. Tip number three, let your a fish sit for 15 to 30 minutes to get to room temperature. It will help it cook evenly. The next tip, tip number four, is double dip. Make sure you put your fish into your wet, dry, wet, dry ingredients. And tip number five, cool on a cooling rack, not paper towels, because all you're letting it do is sit in that grease. Good luck. This should make your fried fish amazing. Let's eat good look good. Juicy salmon with crispy skin. Start by air drying your salmon in the fridge uncovered for at least one hour to remove moisture. This makes the skin easier to crisp. Then simply season and add your salmon to a cold pan skin side down. Turn the heat on to medium high and now as the pan heats up, the fat's going to slowly start to render and help crisp the skin. Cook on both sides for 3-4 to four minutes for that perfect juicy, soft, and flaky salmon. Now I know it's a weird method, but trust me, it works every time and when done right, salmon is incredible.